guys welcome back to Ashley's homestead adventures uh, we have a busy day today I'm not really even moved in to the groom shop yet I mean we've got most everything built there's still a few things that need to be done uh, mr. wonderful will be working on shelves and stuff like that we're still waiting on some products to show up um, some from Texas some from Washington and um, it's not I'm not moved in so I've got to get moved in. I've got to get all my equipment unpacked and um, try to spruce it up a bit and ashley fy it, which is always fun to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take you along, but before we do that, I need to get my chores done and get stalls clean. Everybody needs fed. Um, I don't have to water because, as you can see, it is very wet out here. Um, we've had some storms roll through last night. It's going to rain all day. It's going to be stormy all day. So don't need to worry about watering anybody. Um, so let's get this day started and see how great we can make it. Look at how much these grew in just a day. <laughs> Loving the liquid nitrogen falling from the sky. And I wanted to show you guys Look what we got. We got lemons and limes. Look at those little babies. Um, these are just, you know, a, a box store uh, surprise. This is, um, oh, I think it was Home Depot. Um, it might have been Lowe's. I'm not, I'm not sure. We in the building of everything and building the farm up and building the groom shop up, I we go to Lowe's and Home Depot at least once a week. So, um, Mr. Wonderful wanted to, this is new growth. You can see this is new growth this year. You can see the difference in the color. This is last year's growth. This is new. And it's from a prune point. Um, so, uh these are these are the limes as you can see and there's quite a few let's see this one is the lime as well and this is just thornless key lime we paid 24.98 for them and then this one here is the lemon look at those blossoms aren't they beautiful I mean and it's got quite a few blossoms on it and of course it's we didn't get below 60 degrees last night so they were allowed to come out and um, enjoy this liquid nitrogen and uh, it says in doing all my research you don't need to buy, we bought two of each, um, and you don't need to buy two of each. They are self-pollinating, um, but it's always better, you know, if you can to have more than one. And um, they can, these are all, they're grafted. And these are all, this, they're going on their second year. They were all done in um, 22. So they're going on their second year. And they will, as you can see, they will produce fruit on their second year uh, because they're grafted. They're not started from seed. And I just noticed this guy's got thorns. Um, they can... Um, and again, I'm I'm gonna just tell you what I've researched, what I've researched, because I know that a lot of people aren't research bugs like I am, and they watch YouTube videos to um, kind of get the information. Um, and so I'll just tell you what I know from what I researched. I have never owned a citrus tree, ever. Um, brand new at this, uh, but it, they said that for the first two seasons so this would be the second season they can stay in these pots and then we will upgrade them to a a bigger pot like a 
I think I said a two gallon pot or a three gallon pot, and then they go to a five gallon pot, and then they go to a 15 gallon pot. Um, and these are, we can keep these in containers for their entire life. And here they will have to be in containers because they cannot withstand anything below 30 degrees. So they will be coming in the house for the winter time. Um, and of course, in and out in the spring and the fall, uh, so these are going to be outside plants slash house plants uh, because of course we are being in zone 7b we do get temperatures lower than that uh, so it's kind of a pet project mr wonderful really wanted to do it and um so we'll see how it goes uh it's kind of nice that they, you know, I don't have to worry about potting them up. And I don't think that I will because I don't want to disturb anything. I think I'll just let them stay in these containers for this season. And then when they're dormant, um, and when I, you know, I'll let them kind of die back for the winter, so to speak. And then I will go ahead and shift them over to their new pots for next spring. And I'll probably do that sometime this, this coming you know winter or next spring um, they do need to be pruned but I don't know um, they don't need to be pruned this year and I have no idea if pruning citrus is the same as pruning other fruit trees um, and so I'm gonna have to research that and that's pretty much all I know you guys uh, I'm not sure I'm a little concerned about their food um, and so I'm gonna have to look into are they just super low feeders uh, or am I gonna need to supplement them with you know something like fish emulsion or is there a special citrus uh, you know fertilizer that I can use I don't use any um, chemical fertilizers I use Espoma products so maybe um, Espoma has something that's specially for fruit trees um, but we'll see. I just wanted to take you guys along on the journey with me and show these sweet little babies to you. And um, it's kind of exciting to be growing limes and lemons. Um, so we'll see where it goes. I don't know, but it's time to get to work. I've got, you can see behind me there, I've got my coffee protein shake and um, forest bottle as well as this clean bottle that, anyway, let's go to work. But since we're here, check out the strawberries. It's amazing. I mean, these guys, you couldn't even see them yesterday. Still nothing here. Um, except for, we know that now, I showed you guys yesterday, but he's underneath the, the mulch. Oh, we got some popping up over here. And this isn't even half of the strawberries, you guys. I still have strawberries to plant. Okay. No joke. It's time to go to work. Well, this is a problem. What, you didn't like the... Being in with the girls? Huh? You didn't like being in with the girls? Well, you can't be out. <clears throat> hmm. I don't want to play Rammy boy games with you. Did you girls push him out or did he get out on his own? Hmm. No, I don't want to play Rammy games. You're not allowed to be out. Don't do it, I'm telling you. I do not want to play Rammy games, mister. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, do you want to go back in with your girls? back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. King, come on. Come on, 
on, buddy. All right, let me put him back in. I know Forrest. <laughs> Forrest is like, this is my time. Um, I think I have a rope over here. Did you girls kick him out? Hmm? Come on, buddy. You want to go in with your girls? Go ahead. Lord. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. See if it's just him crawling out or if they're bullying, picking up, you know, picking on him altogether. But he's so strong, I just don't think that they can... I don't know. It's the problem with not having a big wool ram. I mean, Henry was, he was over 200 pounds and there was no worry about him fitting through these panels, but. <laughs> We'll see. Here comes the rain. So, uh, it's still still pouring it's the afternoon now and it is still I mean just pouring out there um, but we got the gravel spread in front in front of the uh, you know it was just a little pile but that's nice because now there's not a big lake right there to get in um, but anyway I'm working on getting all my boxes unpacked Whoop, there we go um, it's still kind of a wreck in here, uh, but you know, just going through and organizing all of it. And here's a funny, you know you're a homesteader when you're unpacking, and I'm kind of OCD, so I pack pretty um, organized. When you're unpacking your groom shop, Anybody know what these are? These are sheep halters. The heck are sheep halters doing in the groom shop stuff? Anyway. <laughs> um, so, really, I'm, I'm only really doing this for one person and one person only. Do you know how you have those, those people in your life that you just, you love. And they're those people in your life that you, well, they're the people in your life that you sincerely feel are responsible for all of the good that is inside of you, whether it be in a certain category, you know, I mean, obviously our parents or grandparents or family, you know, I mean, um, we have special places for those people. But then there's other people. There's other people that teach us trades or they, you know, they're just a part of our life. And they are a very good part of our life and they made us more whole. Well, I happen to know that there is such a person out there that watches all of my videos religiously. So therefore, I wanted to just do this for her. I love you. You know who you are. So, I'm sorry, the tub is not clean yet. I've been letting the caulk dry for as long as possible. Um, having a groom shop, water is your worst enemy and it is something that is in your everyday life for hours a day. And so things like caulking are super important and you gotta let them dry. So, the tub is not clean yet, but this, this looks like a broken down nozzle. 
that really needs to be thrown away. That's what it looks like, but no. You can't find nozzles like this anymore. And that special person, I used to work for her and she gifted me this when she sold her business and retired. And now it has moved all the way from Oregon to Arkansas and it is on my second business that I have opened. So thank you. I have my nozzle. It seems stupid, but it's not, trust me. It means a lot more than just spraying water out of a hose. But they don't make them like that anymore and that is the best spray nozzle I've ever used as a dog groomer. So anyway, I digress. I'm still working. Whew. Well, those are all done and I didn't get completely done, but there's Zeusie and Dexter. Pretty boys. Um, it's kind of cool to have some things here. I mean, I can remember the people that gave me some of these things. And obviously I have photos of the dogs that I used to groom, which is really, really cool. Uh, and that, that candy jar was given to me by a very, very sweet lady. Hello, Lucy. Um, so I've got, everything's unpacked. All my grooming stuff is on its shelves where it's supposed to go. We got the air conditioner dehumidifier hooked up. Um, my desk is coming together. Uh, and I've got all the pictures kind of sort of laid out where I think they're, you know, they're, they're going to go. Um, and got things like these. I need to hang the latches for. Got a crate set up back here for extra room. Um, and everything's kind of like the cupboards are open and that's kind of this is real life people real life mr wonderful has his corner over there with all of his tools because he's still building for me and i've got my shampoo rack started things with i you know i think that they're going to be easy to reach and um functional you know it's that's the key to being quick is being you know having a space that's functional things that I can just grab and so really not anything else to show in here um it just takes time to kind of clean everything off and get everything where you think it's gonna where you think it's gonna go and of course I'm you know leaving certain walls for certain pictures that I know uh are coming and yeah, come on up. It is still very, very stormy out here. We're uh, under thunderstorm watch and just water everywhere. Hazy loves it. He loves the water. brothers and sisters. Uh, so far today, King has not A, escaped, or B, gotten kicked out. We have not seen any behavior that says why he was out this morning. Um, everybody ate their alfalfa pellets together tonight. And as you can see, they're eating hay. Hi, Ariel. being happy so I'm not sure what that was all about or what happened so we'll keep an eye on that but they seem to be comfortable all together and you know it works out really well maybe for everybody uh, King can cover the girls when they're ready to be covered and uh, biting is not acceptable
and he's not you know he's not alone in that pen over there so he has some company um, and the girls don't seem to be too bothered you know by him being here i am still very convinced that vanilla is carrying um that just looks like baby belly to me but we'll see i mean if you look at vanilla and reese's compared to oreo they are a year older, but they're still all adult sheep, so I really think, I really think we got babies in the oven. Um, so everybody's been hiding out in here all day while I've been out working in the shop. And everybody's had their dinner now. What? <laughs> Want a close up? Say hi, Bronco. Hi, buddy. Hi, mister. Hi. <laughs> hi, Forrest. Want yours, Billy Jean? Hi, Billy Jean. Hello. You want another one, Forrest? Hello. <laughs> uh, so. Pretty much everybody's been hiding out all day Why it's been thunder booming and lightning outside and raining. And I'm gonna call it a day. We've got severe weather. It's supposed to amp up. Come on, everybody. Maybe I might try the other type of feeder now that they're, you know, they're very mobile and jumping around. I think I might try the tray feeder and see if maybe they pull less out. But, anywho. Watching my chicks. It's uh, so easy to get caught up and just watching them. Um, they're so cute when they're little and they grow up so fast. And I have to admit, it's uh, you know, I don't have the chicken police here, so I'm not being yelled at for watching them and not holding her. Anyway, I, uh, I know that we are, we have been stuck in the groom shop for days, it feels like, and, uh, it's just part of what it is, and I am tired. I am going to go in for the day and call it a night. I hope you guys had a beautiful day and, uh, enjoyed seeing all the animals as usual. I know that it's spring and we all want to look at the garden, but I'm not planting anything in this rain. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Yours truly.